And speaker number two, who I assume is comfortable with the microphone. Yes, I am. <laughs> My name is Rafe Mayer. <laughs> I'm an unemployed broadcaster <laughs> looking for a station that doesn't depend upon advertising for its revenue. I want to tell you that in a very long life, I have never heard as much crap as I've heard tonight. Hallelujah! Who does Mr. Griffin and his cohorts think they're kidding? If Campbell wants these projects to go ahead, they will go ahead. You what you've it. watched is just all a bunch of rubbish. Yep. Counts for nothing. Absolutely. They have a majority government they will cram it through if they want to. Yep. Do they think we're so stupid? not to understand how government process works in our so-called democracy. This is a done deal. We're now going to do the tap dancing necessary to put the formality to it. Yep, yep, you got it. I wonder where the Minister of Environment is tonight. I was Minister of Environment once. I wish I could be one for 24 hours. I'd throw the lot out. This is my second fight over the pit. And I fly fished the pit. And I saw the pit in all its beauty in the last fight. This is not a shame. This is a bloody crime that's being proposed. Now, I, I want to tell you. I want to tell you we're in for a long, long, hard fight, not just here, but right around the province. As many of you who have heard me in the past know, I'm a fan of Winston Churchill, who knew something about battles. And he said, never give in. Never, 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 never. And nothing great or small, large or petty, never give in. Never yield to force. Never yield to the apparently overwhelming might of the enemy. We must fight, and we must fight to drive the predators out of this province. Now, Now, don't let them complicate this issue. It is a very simple one. These rivers and streams, the pit and the 500 or 700 or whatever number there is other than that, they belong to us, not Gordon Campbell. They do not belong to Gordon Campbell and his favored beneficiaries. Our rivers and streams belong to all of us on behalf of all of us and on behalf of our children and our grandchildren. They cannot be allowed to be sold to a morally bankrupt co a group of companies by a morally bankrupt government. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a political issue, make no doubt about that. But it is not a party political issue. This is how it's got to be fought. In the election that's coming up, mercifully, in May of 2009, yeah. we have to all say around this province, we will support no candidate for office that doesn't declare his or her solemn promise to protect our rivers and streams and the fish and wildlife they sustain. <laughs> And we must say to each and every one of them, we will support no candidate who won't pledge unequivocally for public power. Yeah. Now when, when, not if, when we win the fight for the pit, we must then take the spirit of the pit, 
right around the province and rally decent people against an indecent government. We must stay the course. It's no good just being here. You've got to be everywhere, either yourselves or with your friends, all around the province. And we will save the other rivers and streams just as we will save the pit. Yeah. We're talking here about the very soul of the province that we love. Yeah. And we must fight and continue to fight until we've beaten the bastards and preserved supernatural British Columbia for all time.